Joe Amelia is our Cedar Ridge Red Wolf of the Week, going back to the first week of the winter sports season, back when Cedar Ridge won its first three dual matches in a quad meet when they defeated Person in their first conference match of the year, also defeated Jordan. Joe, this is your first year at the varsity level here at Cedar Ridge, if I'm not mistaken, so how's it going so far for you? Uh, I think it's going pretty well. Like, um, it's been a lot going on in terms of competition because it's a new conference. Yeah. Um, going up against Northwood, you've already wrestled them, you beat Person, as we mentioned, in the conference opener. What have you learned competing at this level? Um, it's just a big step up. I wasn't able to wrestle last year because of like, personal issues. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of like a jump from middle school to high school. Mm -hmm. And immediately going up to varsity was kind of tough, but mm -hmm. I've been able to get past it with my teammates. Right. So. And where would you wrestle in middle school? Uh, I went to Ale Standback. So you went to Standback. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, you were there when you wrestled Stanford in just before the pandemic. Is that correct? Yes. And so I was there that day, and there were hundreds of people. I don't know if I've ever seen a middle school jump pack like that. Can you describe for people what it was like to wrestle Stanford that day when it was Stanford? <laughs> yes, uh, it was very intense. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to win that day. Mm -hmm. I had the intensity. I was really sad after it when I when we played second. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. For those who don't know, Stanford has a long undefeated streak in wrestling, so this would be like Auburn challenging Alabama in Jordan-Hare Stadium, basically. Is that fair to say? Yeah. To use the Southeastern Conference. What, what, do you, what were your own emotions like that day? Um, well, I went from placing first in OPAC, mm -hmm. and then I was really excited. My friend Colin was going into his match, mm -hmm. and he, it was tied throughout the entire thing, and then it went to overtime. Mm -hmm. And he lost, so he placed second. Right. And him coming off, he was, uh, he came storming off really mad. Right. So I, I could feel bad for him. Mm -hmm. So. But, but for your own personal match, I mean, that you, there were just emotions just yeah. coursing through your veins. It had to be. Yeah, I was. I had to get in the mindset of winning, and then when I won, I was really happy. Yeah. So, so now you have the WRAL Invitational coming up this weekend. They'll be in Nightdale. Starting on Friday, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. What's uh, what's your anticipation when you go into tournaments facing new opponents like that? Um, I cr I try to keep my head up mm -hmm. and just try to keep a good mindset. Right. Think think I'm gonna win, mm -hmm. and if I lose, just shake it off. Do you have any music that you use to pump yourself up? Um, I do. I just um, I like listening to Imagine Dragons, Twenty One Pilots. Okay. Imagine Dragons. They're gonna be in Raleigh soon, actually. Yes, I you, I went to a concert in like 2017. So. Oh really? Okay. It was like 2017, 2016. Yeah. So they finished with Radioactive that night. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Mastodon's a good band, also for, for wrestling. I imagine. I've, I've never wrestled, but that's why I like listening to Imagine Dragons. All right. Well, James. Oh, I'm sorry, James. Joe. I'm sorry. It's I don't know why I called you. <laughs> Joe, thank you so much uh, for joining us here. Good luck in the WRA invitation. Thank you. And have a great holiday season. Thank you.